on this channel we're used to having a lot of difficult conversations but today we're looking at texas sketchiest neighborhood the justice department is suing the colony ridge development saying alleged that the developers have been running an illegal scheme targeting hispanic borrowers it's a whole development that is founded on very unstable principles dishonest practices colony ridge's actions violate both the Fair Housing Act and the Equal Credit Opportunity Act. It's a 99 year lease, you never own the property. They're selling these people lots with no electricity, no water, no sewer. Right Maybe it's cartel run, bodies being found out there, drugs. They were promised an American dream, but in the end that quickly changed into a nightmare. To understand the unfamiliar though, we need to start from the beginning. Colony Ridge, aka Terrenos Houston or Terrenos Santa Fe, amongst other names, is a collection of subdivisions in Liberty County, Texas that is approximately 30 miles northeast of downtown Houston. The development was started by wealthy brothers John Harris and William Trey Harris, who has been sued by both the federal government and state government for fraudulent practices and illegal discrimination under fair lending and housing statutes. These brothers are very very smart in the sense that their marketing strategy is not just limited to word of mouth, passing out flyers in bars in Houston or via television, but they've taken it a step further to utilize in social media like TikTok to advertise to a specific subgroup, the Hispanic community, oftentimes in Spanish. These advertisements were used to lure them in, promising them like, hey, this is your American dream. You can achieve your American dream here by buying a house or land to build on. Because the developers were the loaners also. They would give promises like affordable financing, bad credit score doesn't matter, no credit checks, and the likes. Without due diligence to find out if the buyer can afford to purchase that property they were interested in. The system was built for them to fail. Also promising them basic amenities like water, electricity, little did they know they were about to be scammed. What happens is most of these people have to spend their own hard-earned money to provide those amenities for themselves while Colony Ridge waits for those buyers to miss a couple payments. Once that is done, they take the house from them or the land and whatever it is they've built on that house or that land, all of that becomes automatically the developer's property. And then the developer goes out again and advertises to other people that are of Hispanic descent to come buy the house and they resell it for 10 times the property initial value. Now you see how that cycle goes on? They would advertise to them in Spanish but then when it comes time for them to sign the contracts it was written completely 100% in English. I, I don't see anybody around but I do see a lot of the impoverished buildings. Let's try and see if somebody's gonna open the door inside. The person right there just came out but they have a lot of dogs man. How long have you been staying here for? I've lived here basically. I've lived in you know, city. I was Splendora and New Caney throughout my whole life. Okay. And it's been good. Yeah. You love it. You I like love. It. I, I love where I live. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is it like high in crime? Like they say, there's a lot of cartel movement. Um, and around stuff. here, I, I really don't know nothing about cartel around here because of, I'm more in the country. Oh, illegals, like they say, it's housing a lot of illegal immigrants. I mean, you can say what you want, but I don't see it. I bought up all the land. He's the investor, right? Man. But there's fucking backdoor money coming into there. It's a wash, you know. The cartel got wash of money by buying up property. That's what we were saying, buddy. That's what I'm saying, dude. It's fucking really deep. There is cartel in there and shit. So when you go put your fa your face on talking about that place, Honestly, you I know what I'm saying? That's what I mean. Like yeah. it's it's fucking dirty. There has been speculations by the state and federal government, along with neighboring locals, of cartel presence in that community, as well as it's also being a safe haven for illegal immigrants. Now, this hasn't been for sure confirmed. I myself went there and I didn't get a feel of any, you know, suspicious movements or cartel movements. Didn't get anything funny from the people I had the opportunity to talk to. They seem like loving people, caring people, and people who are just trying to get by life. So is this true? I can't really tell you off of my one visit and neither can the government tell you because it's still under investigation. I mean, I guess it is kind of bad back there. There's a, uh, in the terreno season, right? But I'm sure it's happening. Yeah. Uh, I don't really live in that area. Yeah, you get in there and there's like no regulations. On anything. How far is that from here? Uh, I would say like 15 minutes down the road. You see, I understand mainstream media could sometimes be misleading, so I like to see things for myself and talk to the locals there. How you doing? What's your name? 
Juan? Yes. Nice to meet you. How do you like living here, bro? It's good. It's good? Yeah. It's not dangerous like they're supposed to be saying. It's not? Nah. How, how long have you been living here for? Like nine years, I think. Oh, you've, you've had this house for nine years. Yeah. Oh, what's yeah. your best part about living here, though? I see how many dogs you have and yeah. your brother and your sister. Yeah, what's the best part of living here? Like, it's very relaxed. It's very what? It's very relaxing. Oh, it's very Latin? Yeah. So it's like you've built your own community. Yes. Hey, Dad. How you doing? I'm visiting the area, like living here. No? We live with my, um, my, with my suegra. So I was, uh, so that's my mom's house right there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and is that the one they're building? Yeah. How long has she been building that for? Oh, we've been here like around five years, but since that, like probably like one, like a oh. few months now. I heard about it, but I don't know. I'm not sure about it. Okay. Oh, you Can't live 30 years. You I'm live here? Pass. Where did you move from? Huh? Where did you move from? Uh, Honduras. Honduras. Hey. When you drive through there, yeah. like people living in tents and shit, a lot of these immigrants, right, they work fucking little construction jobs. They'll take the sheetrock, they'll take the wood, they'll take whatever from their construction jobs and build fucking shacks out there with the materials. Yeah. You know, so they have something to live in. They're living in trailers, they're living in tents, they're living in forts, like, and then there's some that got money and they're building, buying trailers and building houses. Like it's like a used car lot. So you go buy a car, right? I don't give a fuck about no paperwork. Hey, I go buy this used Chevy for ten thousand dollars. I go put four down on it. Yeah. And then I'm doing the tote your note. As soon as you miss one payment, what do they do? They repo it and put it right back on the lot and sell it to someone else. Yep. You come over there with ten thousand down, they'll sell you a half acre and something, and you can build on it. But as soon as you lose your job or something happens. You, you can't pay your bills, you're fucking out. To their own people. To their own people. I'm a welder in the area. And I do live right around the corner from what us locals call Torinos. Well, these people five or six years ago started developing. They're the bank. Uh -huh. So they, they own or finance the properties. In a four or five year period, an influx of tens of thousands of people. For all of us locals, there's all kinds of stories. Our infrastructure was not set up for that many people to rush this area at one time. I will say most of them are immigrants. I don't know about their legal status. A lot of them probably are illegals and a lot of them may have their citizenship. They're primarily Hispanic. Knowing what the demographics are, you probably don't see too many other people saying, hey, I wanna go live in that neighborhood, yeah. except the Hispanic people. They do primarily target people of Hispanic. Oh yeah, so. Yeah, they can't even speak English. All their advertisements are in Spanish. I have been told that they even advertise in Mexico. One thing that I did notice though, walking in here is a lot of houses are being built right now. Yeah. How is that even like, are so many people just moving in or what? Yeah, what is they, going on? A lot of people are coming from Houston, you know, they don't want to pay rent, stuff like that. There, there's about four or five schools, I believe. Yeah. Four or five schools yeah. and grocery stores are nearby. It's grocery not a- stores, there's a couple around here, yeah. There's a uh, El Faro and there's a, uh, Two meat markets right here so far. Oh, nice. Yes, sir. Do you also have a house, or are you? I'm building a house. I actually sell houses as well. I'm a builder as well. Yeah. Oh, wait, what's your thing? So I don't have a car since I'm just like a small builder, but I, I also build to sell. So do we like buy the land and then? Um, well, usually I buy the land and I build the house and then I'll just sell it with the, you know. What, what is the lowest house you have on sale right um, now? Tell me. Right now, it's about three, 300. How hard are you guys with the financing and all? Oh, well, usually they deal with that, you know, with their banks. So. Uh, State of Texas sued them. No, uh, Colony Ridge? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, I buy property for them, man. You know, I haven't been scammed, but, you know, everybody has their own opinions. Just as we have in one hand people thinking this community is a haven for illegal immigrants and is housing cartel members, some people don't believe that. They think that this is false accusation and the government is just trying to take away the properties and the, the freedom that the Hispanic people have in this community. That raises a question in my head. Is this a racial attack and racial profile in the community because it's mostly Hispanics? Sounds like it could be true, but these are only speculations. I can't I can't say that I've seen like cartel movements. No, I haven't seen none of that. Okay. Now, the way they've set up this this colony is the owner finance. All you have to have is an international tax ID number that uh, you know, shows who you are even from another country and they'll finance to you. Don't have a police we don't have a police department out here. We have no municipality. Anything, all we have is the local sheriff and state trooper rolling around. 
and there's only like one that hangs around town. So it's, it's kind of lawless. So you were born in Houston, yes, brought up in Houston. but and... we moved this side. Like, well, me, I moved on this side like four, four months ago. Why? Why did why Houston to this? It's like very far inside. Yeah, because one, well, my family decided to get business and, my, and we own a business. Oh, what business? A mechanic business over there by Bella Vista. Um, and well, we just decided to do something for our future and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah, that's why we moved over here. How old are you? Me, I'm 20. 20? Yes. Nice. Tens of thousands of people live in there. If you actually look that place up on maps, it's bigger than all of its surrounding cities. It's surrounded by four other cities and it dwarfs them. And it's a neighborhood. And it's a neighborhood. They do not have city water out there. They do not have city sewage. They're out there running on generators. Their sewage is run off into wherever it can go. It's it's not the best conditions to, to build a community at all. A tropical storm and it floods everything. And they don't have proper sewage or any of that stuff. Like, man, it's... It, Turn into a bad situation. Um, so how about schools? Something like they had 6,000 local students before and now they have like 15,000 students. Uh, and a lot of those people that live in there, man, a lot of them farm their own stuff. You know, they have their own little grows and a lot of them are hustlers, man. They get out on the sides of the roads and they sell stuff. After seeing this place for myself, I don't blame the government for thinking there's something sketchy going on here. One out of three Colony Ridge properties end in foreclosure within the first three years, which is more than 10 times the national rate. Thousands of Hispanic borrowers have lost their homes and properties along with the extras that they use their own money to build. It does make you wonder. However, I do think the people that live in this community are wonderful people. I got to talk to them. They were so open and very welcoming. I think I'm at a place where I feel comfortable enough to go back and visit. Maybe not to ask more questions because then they're going to be like, what, what, what are you really about, bro? A part of it does feel like you're in Mexico on a vacation or something. There's no beach, but it does have that feel of, oh, I'm no longer in the States. In a nutshell, I do think this place should be investigated, but at the same time, I do believe that the people here are beautiful people, welcoming, and they're just trying to have a better life and own property and to live the American dream. That's all I have for you guys today. And thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with everybody you know. I'll see you shortly for a new video. If you like this one, you're probably gonna like this one right here.